All right, so mission four, lesson one is about line plots. Um, so this it's gonna start out pretty easy. Just gonna ask you to select which number line is divided into eighths. So whichever one has seven lines or eight parts, that's what we're gonna choose. All right. <clears throat> okay, so here are the different locations of some plants. Um, and we're gonna record the data into the line plot. It says using one eighth meters. So make sure you pay attention to what it says. Um, we're gonna have to put them into eighths if they're not already, all right? So this first one, our first plant is gonna measure one and one half meters. Well, I need to know what one half is. So I'm gonna look at my one half right here and I need to know one half, I'm gonna come over here equals how many eighths? When well, we know one half is the same thing as four eighths, okay? So I need to go to one and four eighths for this one. All right. So I'm gonna go to one, one, two, three, four. So right there where that X is, that would be one and a half or one and four eighths. The next one says three eighths, and there is no hole associated with it, so it would just be one, two, three eighths. And I'm only going to put one X because that's just the second plant. That's plant number two at the second location. Plant number three would be one fourth, but that's not an eighth, so I need to make sure to write it in eighths. One fourth is the same thing as two eighths. So I can go ahead and go right here. <coughs> Next one is one and seven eighths. That one is already an eighths for you. Makes it a little easier. So there's one hole right here. One and one eighth, one and two, three, four, five, six, one and seven eighths. All right, so I have already done four locations. I've done this one, this one, this one, and I just did one and seven eighths. Good, so I'm done. All right, now, Let's go to the next one. One fourth, we know because we've already done it, is two eighths. So I'll go ahead and plot two eighths or one fourth, same thing. So that's why I have two different locations. So location three and location five both have plants that measured one fourth meters. So you're going to have two X's in that location, right? So this one and this one are the same. So, oops, sorry, and this one were the same. Let me erase that. Um, so that means that location three and five will both have an X over one fourth. All right, and so I've done that one. Three fourths. <clears throat> three fourths is equal to how many eighths? That would be six eighths, and then this one is the same, six eighths. So I'm gonna do location six first. And that would be one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. All right, and I'll cross it out to show that I've done it. Now I have one left, one more at three fourths or six eighths. Sorry, this is supposed to be an eight. It doesn't look like an eight. There we go. All right, and I've done that one. So. If I have plotted each of them, um, I should have seven different X's representing seven different um, lengths of measurements of the plants. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. And we got it right. Good job. Good. All right. All right, so this next one um, asks for the longest measurement. So we measured some insects, and it asks for which insect, it, which insect, which was the longest measurement that was recorded. So you're not looking for the one with the most X's. You're looking for the longest or the largest number. So I'm going to come over here, <coughs> and that would be four and one half. Now this one says the most frequent. 
So this is the one people miss the most because they don't know what frequent means. So most frequent means the most often. So which one do you see the most frequent or the most often? So which one has the most X's? And that would be this one in between one and two, which would just be one, one half. All right, <clears throat> the shortest measurement, okay? So the shortest measurement means the smallest insect, smallest one. So that would be right here. If this is one hole and they're cut into fourths, I know that that is one, one fourth. Because there are only three lines. Each one is representing a fourth. All right, and again, which insect measurement was the most frequent? So it looks like this one, the first one. One and one-fourth is the one that recorded the most X's or had the most insects with the same amount of length. So most insects had one and one-fourth inches long. All right, which one is divided into fourths? These should be easy, that's way too much. That's only thirds, fourths. <clears throat> All right, plot the following data points. All right, so we have one half. Well, you know one half goes in between zero and one. And I like to cross them out after I do it. Um, I have another one half, so that means I will now have two x's above one half. The next one would be one hole. Cross it out. The next one is one and one half. So I have to go past the hole. One and one half would be right there. Cross that out. Have another one and one half. Two and one fourth. Okay, so I go to two, and I already broken into fourths for me. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So this one, this is two and one fourth. Cross that one out, and then three and three fourths. So you're at the three hole mark, and you got to count up one, two, three fourths. All right, so let's count and make sure. I had one, two, three, four, five, six seven measurements I needed to record, so I should have seven X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's check it. Good job. You got it. Keep climbing. <clears throat> Which one's divided into eighths? Here we go. And this last one is the one we've already done, but it might be different numbers this time. All right, so we need one and three fourths would go there. I'm gonna go through this one quickly because I've already explained this one to you at the beginning of the video. One half, now it's in eight, so I need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. There we go, messed up, sorry. It's because I was trying to rush. One and three fourths again. One and one eighth, one fourth, and then one and three fourths. So there were three of them that had one and three fourths, so that would be the most frequent. That would also be the largest uh, measurement, or the longest measurement. Great job. Good job. I hope this helps.